How's it going, everybody? Um, it's been a while since we worked on this one, but we're going to be working on the uh, Crew Cab LS Swap Twin Turbo Restoration Setup thing here we got going on. Um, what we're going to be doing today, or I'm going to get started on, pull the engine, pull the fender, probably pull the whole front core support, front fenders off, and then put this panel in here, trim this up so this is smoother but don't lose the reinforcement not sure how that's going to work out and then i want to pull the bed off so i'm getting set up to do right now is pull the bed off and uh, get it set over here on some stands because so i got to cut let's see here i think you can see yeah, right here i got to cut a hole here and then somewhere's over here for the filler neck to come through the tail light here this is where i want to put the gas cap so that's what we got to do because it's going to come through here and then come down over there. And then I also got to cut this off, patch the, the tank here and move this down this way a little bit. Because right now it's like right on a brace under the bed. But that's enough talking about it. Let's be about it and uh, get started on getting this bed off. Alright, so for those of you interested, this is how I do it. Um, last time I used two rims, so we're going to see if this tire is heavy enough. But yeah, just some ratchet straps from four corners of it. And a C-clamp here. Right there to uh, keep them from sliding off. And then we just go up. And we're looking pretty good. And let's see here. What are we hanging up on? Oh, hanging up on the fender flares. Okay, so we gotta come up some more. Yeah, that's it. Real simple. Got it moved over here on my makeshift stands. Yeah. Got the cab back off because I got to paint this section here. Got to get the gas tank fitted. And uh, yeah, so I figure quicker and easier do it that way. Um, so got that off. Now we can move the truck back this way. Take the front end apart. Maybe pull the engine out. I don't know. I don't know if I want to pull the engine. Probably should. But we'll see. We'll see when we get there. So, uh, yeah, we'll continue on.
<laughs> All right, got the engine out. Um, so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna work on this part here. So I don't wanna use the factory block here. Uh, this is my master cylinder hole that I have. That's not in a good spot. It should be up in this area more. So what I think I'm gonna do, I have to move this probably up here somewhere out of the way. What I think I'm gonna do is cut right at that seam there, all the way around. And just take this section out and then trim this off here. And trim that section up. And uh, go from there. But this whole, this plate here is an entire section. It basically, it will cover everything. But I don't want to do that because then that requires redoing this hole, redrilling those holes in the right spot. And yeah, I just want this bottom section cleaned up. So that's what we're going to do.
There we go. Got that all welded up. All the way around, and I'm thinking I'm gonna cut right along this seam and just weld the my new plate over there into this one, this top plate here. And we'll call her a day. Um, I didn't weld here because I wasn't sure if these two were going to butt up. I might try and get them to butt up. That'll make it a little smoother. And then I got to dig and weld the triangle piece in right here. Cap that off and same thing on this side. But uh, yeah, I got that welded all the way up and around. Looks a lot better that way than it did. So that's where we're at. I just got to figure out how to get that plate fitted up in here and uh, make it look more like this side. And then this side will be done. And then I can, now I have to poke some holes in it. Obviously, for my bulkhead connector, my clutch master, I don't exactly know what these two were for. I don't think they were used for anything. But, yeah, as you see, here's the brake master center line. There's the clutch master center line. So the clutch master really needs to be brought up. But I might see if I can bring it up over this way some more. See if that'll work better. But yeah, that's what we got so far. It's coming along, slowly but surely. And then hopefully by the end of the week we'll have uh, everything we need to start painting. Maybe. And we'll go from there. All right.
All right, got her all finished up. Looking pretty good. Uh, I might put a little body filler over some of this rougher stuff. Because uh, I'm definitely like a maybe 80% guy. Get it 80% of the way there. It'll look good enough. Um, so we'll call her good there. And uh, so, yeah, if you like the videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you'll get uh, notifications. Notifications whenever I post new videos. If you hit the bell, too, I think you gotta hit the bell. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Always appreciated. Um, we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.